in a land overrun by meta teams. One League SPC card seeks to stand apart. And what's happening, boys? And welcome to the second time. Two. Count that two times that we've completed the Liga Nos SBC. And today, we unlock ourselves the Japanese Messi, aka the Last Samurai, aka Shoya Nakajima, a card that gets a 210 total in game stat upgrade over his 79 base Porto card. And that is, like I said, this Shoya Nakajima card that looks pretty. Freaking nuts. 5-5, five, five, pretty much the same height as Messi. Has the 4-star, four 4-star four as well. And then has some really ridiculous dribbling stats. Has some really uh, surprising finishing stats. And then also has a nice bit of speed on him. Uh, and just looks like a very, very good card. Now, is it worth completing these Liga Nos SPCs twice? I don't know. And Olympiacos are currently leading Spurs. Wow, okay. And then, so that's that's easily the uh, that's easily the upset so far. Um, so what we have to have happen, for those of us did, that did the Atalanta SPC... It's currently 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, Atalanta need to beat Dynamo Zagreb. And then also, Olympiacos are up 2-0. They just scored. Olympiacos are, are, are up 2-0 against, uh, against Spurs. Bruh. I got to get back into player's wave view mode. We were looking, like I said, at Shoya Nakajima has some insane, insane stats for being an 84 rated card. Uh, and then also we got a new SBC today. We got the Serie A SBC, uh, the Serie A League SBC, which has Dalbert. And then there was an Italian midfielder. I'm drawing a blank, but I believe they're both 84 rated. Um, and then the question of the episode, you guys, do you think the League SBCs should be higher rated cards? Like some people are saying that they need to be like, you know, 86-ish. Or are you guys fine with them being like mid-range cards uh, that have some pretty decent stats? For an 84, that Batak card had some pretty end game stats uh and then this uh the shoya nakajima we're gonna find out if he's the real deal has some pretty nutty stats as well but if you guys are enjoying the players wave user if you guys are excited for this japanese messy aka the last samurai drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below now for some people he's gonna be a super sub for those of you guys that are running uh liga no sides uh there are some really really good players in there including the likes of arguably the three best left backs th some of three of the best left backs in the game granaldo uh tells and then and um, uh, Acuna as well. I would say Tells and Grimaldo probably just because they've got the pace. But uh, today it is all about this card. 96 acceleration, 89 sprint speed with 86 attacking positioning. Finishing, we're going to jack that off with the sniper chem style. And we use the sniper chem style as well because on the base, he's got 81 ball control. We're going to get that up a little bit with the, uh, the plus five. It goes up to 97 dribbling, goes to 99 balance, 99 agility with near 99 acceleration. So that combo is going to be very interesting to see how that performs. 91 stamina. He's going to be able to last you the entire game. Uh, and then passing stats, we're not too fussed about because he does ship as a winger. But uh, his stats lend themselves to being a pretty wild looking striker. And that's exactly where we're going to play him today. We've got him in a league. Uh, hybrid of sorts. We've got Corona. Of course, we had to put him on the other side. Uh, we've got uh, we've got Nakata. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run this in game. Uh, I'm gonna bring down Nakata. I'm gonna play him over at Ram, and then we're gonna put uh, Shoya Nakajima at striker, and then we're gonna bring on Serge Gnabry. Um, we're gonna bring on Serge Gnabry as our left mid. So we want to keep that Nakata in there. Uh, Acosta is gonna be playing for us, and then Bataglia is gonna be our uh, our defensive option. We got Acuna. We've got this guy Luis uh, Rodri Rodriguez, I believe, um, plays in Liga MX. Looks like a really really good card. And then Carlos Vela is just in there, and the uh, just is in there for the chem to get our Corona up to uh, to get our Corona on ten chem. Uh, and then that is what the squad is going to look like. If this doesn't go according to plan, we're going to run a 4-4-2 with uh, Shoya Nakajima up top with uh, Nakata as Ram. Let's get into match number one with this Shoya Nakajima expecting the world of him with the sniper chem style. Let's see if the Japanese Messi was worth doing the Liga Nos SPC for the second time. Match number one, Los Gates. <laughs> I look like a grandma. I look like a mixture between Kelly Olenek, uh, Macaulay Culkin, and, and, and an actual grandma. He, dude, th I'm not gonna lie, it's a little distracting. <laughs> He's got that fringe that's coming down, and that hair, dude, that hair looks nuts. It's like they custom tailored it to him, dude. Go on. Hey, so GG, GGZ, eh? <laughs> Come on! 
That's a big, that's a big unlucky. Okay, he's got, he's got really, really insane agility. Feels super, super, uh, feels super, super uh, tight on the ball. Power, boys. Shoya Nakajima has got the shot power. Now, we probably could have taken it on the own, but the combination of him and Acosta works really, really well. Yo, honestly, I wish the, I wish the Liga Nos SPC cost a little bit less because he would be a guy I consider to pick up as a super sub on the, uh, on the RTG. Golly, dude. He just doesn't miss. And he's got that 87 shot power, which is just enough to be forceful, but then he's also got the really good finishing. Shoya Nakajima, so far, he's proven to be... Um, He's, he's, he's proven to be, uh, maybe not the Japanese Messi, but uh, maybe one of the better Japanese cards we've ever seen. I mean, think about all the, think about all the iconic, um, think about all the iconic Japanese cards we've had throughout FIFA history. The Hondas. This card is broken. <laughs> Shoya Nakajima's card is broken, dudes. I wanted to put a Japanese J-League side together, but it just wasn't going to happen. Um, because we did unlock that Bataglia, and there's no chance that I wasn't going to waste not using him for another match. Shoya Nakajima take a bow. A hat-trick within the first 40 minutes. And probably one of the most stylish hat-tricks we've ever put together, dude. The first half is over, and it's been an absolute domination. Um, and, uh, we have ourselves four shots, four on target, 61% possession. We're absolutely crushing this guy right now. 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 I look like a grandma. I look like a mixture between Kelly Olenek, uh, Macaulay Culkin, and, and, and an actual grandma. We're absolutely crushing this guy right now. I've inexplicably somehow drawn this match. And not only do I not get the sh because of Vissam Ben Yedder. <laughs> Serge Gnabry was right in front of the net. That, that, that should have been 4 3. That should have been the game winner. Shoya Nakajima comes up with a perfect hat trick, dude. Dribbles completed 17 out of 26. Passer completed 16 out of 19. Man, he was perfect. He was absolutely perfect in this game. And my defense and my idiot self. Choked us from having this victory, man. Shoya Nakajima, I'm sorry, dude. How did he make that? <laughs> Shoya Nakajima. How the heck did he make that, dude? I need to see a replay. His keeper... I feel like that almost went over his keeper. No, it was just top bins. Yeah, his ter was that Ter Stegen too? I think he's got Ter Stegen in that. And Shoya Nakajima just made him look like... Uh, Shoya Nakajima just made him look like FIFA 19 Allison. said aim down full power and then read it oh 
Okay, thank you. Jesus, man. I was going to say. Okay, Nakata. Nakata. I was going to go middle. Let's go, boys. Nakata, we've got four. We've got five goals, and every goal's been scored with a Japanese player. Do you see that? Okay. B poor pass. A little bit of a poor pass. A little bit of a poor pass. We had a guy running through there. And at halftime, it is complete Japanese domination yet again. Shoya Nakajima gets us on the board with an incredible, incredible goal. We've got the, uh, we've got the samurai banners waving in the background at the Al Jaid this time at night. It's a beautiful thing to see. It's a sight to behold. Uh, and then 42% uh, possession for him, 58% possession for us. We're dominating. Shoya Nakajima, all the boys are playing well. The 4-3-3, this 4-3-3 formation is actually something I'm really enjoying using, to be fair. Okay. What is this? Boys. So what? Why? Shoya Nakajima. And is that going to be a rage quit? Is that going to be an RQ? We're sending him to uh, RQC? Rage quit city? I'm going to skip just because I'm going to have a little bit of respect from him. The Pohang Steelers. He might be gone. And he's gone. Wow. Shoya Nakajima with the two goal performance doesn't get any assists, but in a 4-3-3 with him even as a single striker, uh, as, a, as a lone striker formation... He has been incredibly, incredibly impressive, uh, and I'm happy he is because honestly, I was gonna almost—if he was horrible, I would have really, really regretted doing the Liga, La Liga, uh, the Liga Nos SPC for the second time. Um, and uh, Shoya Nakajima has just gone ahead and shown us that he's an absolute mad lad. Now, am I gonna go ahead and say that he's worth 200,000 coins? If he was on the market, he'd probably be going for around maybe 30, 40, max 50,000 coins. He joins the likes of a of an Orsic in terms of uh, sort of lower-ish rated players that just way outperform their stats. But uh, for 200,000 coins, the packs that you get back, you kind of have to get lucky. The Liganos packs aren't incredible. Um, so in terms of value, you guys know what it is. Liganos, I love it as a league. Um, it's not one of the more popular leagues in FIFA, but it's one that I like representing for all my Liganos bros. But uh, in terms of value, I am going to have to give it, uh, I am going to have to give it a three out of five, which isn't a glaring review, uh, just because it is a really, really expensive, it is expensive. 200,000 coins, that's money that, that that's coinage you could spend elsewhere on other upgrades to your squad. Uh, and to spend it on a Nakajima, you really have to be either a committed to getting a um, uh, Nakata as well to get the links in and or run some sort of Liga Nos hybrid and really, really love Liga Nos and really, really love Shoya Nakajima, which I've instantly become a fan of his card. Now, in terms of on the pitch performance, I'm not going to give him a perfect rating, but I'm going to give him a four and a half out of five. He's got everything is legitimately not missing anything on his card like I, I need to I need to really really stress that he doesn't have a great nationality but there is a Japanese icon like I alluded to uh Liga Nos is one of the better uh, lower rated teams uh leagues in the, in the game in my opinion um and uh four star four star finishing shot power agility speed uh stamina 91 just has everything that you would want from the Japanese Messi and he did not disappoint so that is gonna do it boys for the Shoya Nakajima aka the Japanese Messi aka the last Samurai. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video. Drop a like on the video because I'm broken my account now for having literally spent near 400,000 coins on completing the Liga Nos SBC twice. But anyway, boys, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and I will catch you guys for a stream tonight. We're going to be ripping all the packs from the twice completed Liga Nos SBC and doing some other stuff like drafts and grinding rivals on the RTG account. But I will, like I said, boys, catch you for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.